Hi. Continuous integration is the practice of merging all the developers' working copies to shared mainline several times a day. So we can say that it is the process of making. Continuous delivery is an extension of continuous integration since it automatically uh, deploys all the code changes to a testing or production environment after the build stage. So this means that on top of automated testing, we have an automated release process and we can deploy our application at any time whenever we want. What about continuous deployment? It goes one step further than continuous delivery, we can say. So with this practice, every change that passes all stage, stages of our production pipeline is released to our customers. What about the benefits of CI and CD? We can, I can say that smaller code changes, fault isolations, faster mean time to resolution, more test reliability and faster release rate as well as smaller backlog and customer satisfaction are possible. Additionally, it increases, let's say, team transparency and accountability, reduces the costs and facilitates easy maintenance and updates. And the current tools I am currently use, using to implement CI and CD are Git, GitHub and Jenkins. And let me explain my experience with CI, CD and Jenkins. First of all, our developer commits the code to the source code repository. Meanwhile, the Jenkins server checks the repository uh, at regular intervals for changes. Soon after a commit occurs, uh, the Jenkins server detects the changes and then it will pull those changes and it will start preparing a new build. If the build fails, what happens? Okay, let me answer. If the build fails, then the concerned team will be notified about that as soon as possible. So what about a successful operation? So if the build is successful, then Jenkins deploys the build in the test server. After te testing, Jenkins generates feedback and then notifies the developers about the build and also test results. So it will continue to check the source code repository um, for changes made, just made in the source code and the, of course, whole process keeps on repeating. Thank you so much.